What is the meaning of this? Are, are you stupid? Is something wrong with you? How dare you prepare soup and swallow for me this early morning? Oh, so because you've started sleeping with my husband, you can just wake up and decide what to prepare. Is she going to send me out of the house? That can only happen if this house does not belong to me too. But she's angry with me. Don't worry about her. Come on. Eventually she will calm down. Okay? But I'm scared, sir. I don't want to leave this place. There is nothing to be scared of. Trust me. She wanted this in the first place, so she should be ready to live with the consequences. Yes, I know she wanted this, but no woman wants to share her husband with another person, no matter how understanding she claims to be. I... It's not possible. Sarah, I know that. But this is not your fault. But she's going to feel that it's my fault because we didn't take permission from her before doing this. She's still going to blame me. Which man has a conversation with his wife before cheating on her? Which man? Come on, see. Just stress, don't stress yourself about this, okay? Sure? Just relax. Yes, I am here. I'm here, okay? Anyone else to come to you will have to come through me. You get that? So calm down, okay? I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. No regrets. Are you trying to tell me that your husband did not sleep in this room last night? He did not sleep in this room. He slept in that other room. Really? <laughs> but I don't see any reason why you should be worried. Is that not what we wanted in the first place? Are you really listening to yourself, Mom? I'm telling you that my husband did not sleep in his matrimonial bed. He's sleeping with the housemaid in her room. And you're blaming me? I don't understand you. Oh, that was the main reason why you brought her into your home. You brought her in by yourself into your matrimonial home. That was what you planned. Now that it is all coming together, you should be happy about it. What are you saying? At this stage, I would have thought that you'd be happy because you brought that girl into the house yourself. You cajoled your husband into doing this. Are you listening to yourself? Are you thinking this true? I'm trying to tell you that my husband did not sleep in his matrimonial home. He's sleeping with that girl in the maid's room. And you're blaming me? Who else should I blame if not you? You brought that girl into this house. You manipulated everything. You spoke to your husband. You cajoled him into doing this. Even the girl you also did. Now that it is happening, you should actually be celebrating and be rejoicing. I do not like this thing you're saying, mom. I don't like it one bit. Are you trying to add fire to the flame? Are you trying to hurt me the more? Of course, no. But uh, is that not what you wanted? You young girls of nowadays, you, you do whatsoever you like. You believe, you think you know everything. You are the same one who said, don't worry. If my husband sleeps with her, don't worry. At least so far as I get what I want. My husband, no problem. But even if he go far, he go anywhere, he will still come back home to me. He did he open the door for the canker worms to come in. And now that they are eating up everything, you are angry? You are crying? No, I don't think you should be. I don't think so. But I'm pained. I'm hurting inside. Do you know how much pain I feel right now? I don't want this. I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> My dear, you should go and get a cup of cold water. Get the children and cool down yourself. Yes. Because from all indication, you can see where it is going to. Because if after talking to your husband yesterday, he still went back to sleep in that girl's room. <laughs> hey, Annie, Annie, Annie. You are now the Tsai Chiku. Clara is now the full housewife. God forbid. Not while I'm still alive. <laughs> Not while I'm still Anne. That can never happen. 
Oh my goodness. Clara does not even know who she's messing with. It is still me. Mm. I'm still in charge. By the time I'm done with her, oh my goodness, she would not know what hit her. You see this game? I'm still in charge and I must win in the end. I will win. I will win. <laughs> my love, from the look of things, it is like Clara is winning. No? Clara is winning. So you better act fast. If not, <laughs> hey, that girl that I'm looking at, Clara, does not look innocent to me. She's a wise girl and she knows what she wants and she will do anything to achieve it. So put your senses together. Put your senses together and know what you are doing. Hold on tight and take over what belongs to you. At this point, mom, I just want to be left alone. Because as it stands, I don't know if you're for me or against me. So just let me be, please. <laughs> and I have told you, if you like, listen. If you like, don't listen. That's just the truth. Put your set together and know what you're doing. That girl is not innocent in any way. What is the meaning of this? I, I, are you stupid? Is something wrong with you? How dare you prepare soup and swallow for me this early morning? Oh, so because you've started sleeping with my husband, you can just wake up and decide what to prepare? No, really? No, I'm sorry, but I, I think... And what is wrong with you? What, is going what, what, on what new habit is this of always throwing food on her? What's the meaning of this? This is not what I asked her to prepare. But of course, because she is now sharing you with me, she thinks it's okay to prepare swallow for me in the morning. Oh, she, she can now decide for the family. Is this what this is about? Are you okay? So is throwing food at her the best way to pass your message? What happened to communication? You talk to her, oh, why this, why that? See reasons with her first of all. But no, what you do, you just throw food at her because you can. What does that mean? Of course I can. This is my house. I deserve and reserve every right to do whatever I choose. And it includes preparing for my family, deciding what my family eats part time. I asked her to prepare this this morning. I said I wanted pounded yam and soup this morning. What? What is going on here? Exactly what you heard, Mama. I asked Clara to prepare pounded yam and soup for me for breakfast. What is wrong with that? That's what I wanted. So, I meal prep for what we're going to eat as a family. While you go about sleeping with the house help. And in the process of riding her like a horse, you remember that, oh, you might be exhausted in the process. Oh, baby, please, can you prepare swallow and soup for me and my family? I didn't ride with you, so why will I share in your pain? Whatever image you want to paint in your head is on you. Whatever picture you want to have in your head, it's your business. But what you did is wrong. What I did is not wrong. This is my house. I keep reiterating it. But because you have given this thing, Power to decide. She thinks she can run my home. Really? Congratulations, Eric. Get out of my sight!
wrong yes i brought that girl into my home but you two have trampled on my decision she now has right to decide what we eat in this house really how she's the one doing the cooking you know that right and what is wrong with me wanting something else for a change i told her to prepare that it's my decision and then it was late you would have been sleeping by that time so should she come and disturb you and she had to wake up early this morning again to do the cooking. Would you have preferred she woke you up? For a change, she should have woken me up. Yes, or waited for me or sent me a message. Find a way to reach me, communicate with me, not just take decisions <sighs> without my consent. But no, my husband slept in her room, slept with her. That automatically makes her my co-wife. I mean, she can make decisions for us now. If you want to drown yourself in all of this, go ahead and knock yourself out, okay? But you see what you did this morning on the dining room. Let it never repeat itself again. Let it be the last time you ever throw food on her. Am I clear? And if I do it again? Then you will see the other side of Eric you never knew existed. I mean, if you feel any injustice has been done to you, then speak up. But you brought it upon yourself, you know that, right? You brought all of this on yourself, so you have no right to blame anyone else. And as for what you did this morning, if you try it again, then you know you are looking for Eric's rot, and you will not like me. You will not. You're taking that girl's side over me? Well, the plan was not to take anyone's side. But since you have reduced yourself to the girl's level in the first place, then so be it. Knock yourself out. But whatever you do, make sure you do not come blaming me because that's the new one you have learned. You will do something. Something that you clearly planned, your own script. Then when people start reacting to the script that you have written, you start making noise and nagging. Don't try it again. And be careful. Be very careful so you don't drive us far apart than we already are. <laughs> 